Hello, welcome back to Brand Sushi Live Noding. Uh, in this episode, I will be showing you how to connect an app called Bispo, which gener generates scenes and sounds into Blender. So the result is something like this. So this is Bespoke and this is Blender uh, running, uh, rendering EV. So Bespoke have hundreds of nodes to make and generate scenes and Blender is listening and the setup is just something like this. Uh, we're gonna be using OSC so I'm gonna show you the whole process and this is gonna be the basics. So let's run Bespoke and also run Blender. So this is Bespoke and this app has been around for six or seven years I believe just recently get uh, released online if I'm not wrong so this is Blender and with Blender you will be needing add roots add-on because this one can listen to OSC uh, so yeah let's try so we're gonna need a, an object to react to bespoke. Um, first of all, it's good to set up the OSC Open Sound Controller. Seems I I already have it set up. So this is listening to its local address one two seven zero zero one with input for uh, input port set to five six four five six is already on. So it's already listening. So we just need to go to Bespoke and create some kind of sound or synth. So Bespoke is also a node based system and there's uh, all these nodes that you can use to generate sound in real time and hopefully passing the data into Blender. Um, so I will start with a drum. I'm, I'm tapping D, this is like a shortcut and I will be using drum player and drum sequencer and I'm still learning this app but this app is uh, pretty much intuitive to use more or less you just need to plug in uh, the nodes and connect the nodes and it's gonna create sound so now it's already making sound right and I want to connect this into Blender. Uh, the easiest one that is uh, there's something called level. So level is we're gonna it's gonna measure the the intensity of the sound and pass it as a CV. I don't know what CV is, but let me save just in case it crashes. And we need some kind of OSCs output signal so I, I hold on O and then create OSC output so I know this will work so before I do that let's unplug disconnect this because it's gonna make sound okay holding this and hit delete so it's still running I, uh, I want to test this slider and make it to work with blender first So the slider will control the OS, OSC signal. I'm holding the spacebar and drag this to the side. Okay. If I slide this, it should connect here. So Suzanne, we want Suzanne to be controlled uh, by the OSC. So I will, I will do that. The quickest uh, way is uh, instead of doing it from here and adding roots. You just right click on the attributes or the parameters maybe for Suzanne I want to control the Z location so right click create a real-time road so we have this being set up we want the OSC we want to control Suzanne Z axis not all actually all sometimes working sometimes not we are gonna the control the Z axis and this should be set to bespoke and to the slider in this case slider 0 we want it to receive and 
let's say this is called demo OSC. So now hopefully this actually works. Okay, right away you can see it's working. So it's really that easy and the slider, uh, you can have multiple OSC output node from Bespoke. So you can connect uh, whatever sounds it's making in real time, you can connect it here and it's gonna connect to Blender and it's gonna it's gonna record it actually. So you, you can you can enable record and uh, it, it will actually record. Let me try very quickly. Turn on record. It's going to receive. Playback. I can slide. And I can stop this. You can see there's a keyframe. Okay. So that's the idea. Let's, let's see what we can do next. I wanna. I think the easiest to see animations, um, translation, rotations, or scale. Scale is a good one if you want to see, uh, or maybe using uh, shaders. I will try to do that as well. But for now, let's try to connect this sound somehow. Slider is good. Uh, we we want to probably increase the maximum. Currently, it's between zero and one. If you hold Command and then tap on the left or on the right, you can see there's a minimum or maximum that you can change. So I'm gonna change this to 10. OSC, uh, sometimes with the bespoke, the, the node input output is not very clear, but you can actually connect stuff like from this guy to this guy, right? you, can connect, you can connect it, and you have this level to CV, and now we can actually connect this to this guy if I'm not wrong if holding shift can give you this so you but you can't connect armor um, you can have splitter so uh, if I'm not wrong we also we need to split the drum player using splitter so drum player connect to the game to make sound but drum player also needs to connect to the level to CV. So we need splitter, which is uh, interesting. Yeah. So I this is actually something that I found by accident. I don't know. I didn't. I need to splitter. I thought I can just hold shift and then just you know split this. Or split this drum player doesn't split but it does if you're doing it this way so anyway let's look at blender let's see Suzanne Suzanne is already dancing to the beat of the music oh it's only based on the level but you can separate the drum etc let's try a different beat Yeah, this is something that you can record. You can separate the the kick, uh, the snare, etc. And so you can have multiple Suzanne if you like. For now, I think this is a good start. Yeah, I'm gonna save this and also save the bespoke state. You know that it is working, but Suzanne is only moving between zero and one. So we need to increase the gain because we are really monitoring the the signal here from this drum sequence into the level. We want it to between zero and ten, so I'm increasing the gain here. So that's should be pretty clear now we want to control Suzanne's uh, like shader if you like so let's uh, disconnect the sound for now Flip. okay back to here back to Suzanne we need to create uh, set up a material very very quickly so EV materials nothing too special we can just use a um, emission So check out the shader editor. 
we want to control the emissions we don't need principal actually but it's okay we're gonna leave it there emission we need a color something like that maybe we can control the HSV so I like to use glow or blue in this case sometimes I want this value to go higher than one so it's glowing and we can control the hue right so let's use value because with value you can you know you can control you can have something instead of just doing it here we use a value so we can do like math and we can multiply this with other value multiplier so we can do this right click create real time uh, real time route it's going to create another route and it's going to set up everything for us we just need to say specify osc we can use the same one slider zero and receive now hopefully this works it's still running this guy is still running connect this oh did i delete the i accidentally delete the drum player okay now Suzanne is moving around and also it's changing color as the, as the as the signal is sending the value using the open sound controller you can see the value is coming in so I think yeah it, it has a lot of potential um, maybe you can also control the scaling and intensity let's try something pretty neat that we can do here if I'm not wrong double click oh I used to be able to double click let's unplug this for now Yeah, that's interesting the slider one double click oh actually right click okay right click give you this wave which is pretty interesting in itself you can create this wave and it's gonna loop itself so you can see now z slider 0 doesn't have any signal but slider 1 is like moving around by itself based on this if I right click we get this curve it's actually looping in, in itself so if I connect this again and connect this guy to this guy um, I will I will I want to try to send the sl slider one signal into the value so we have this kind of glow so create another value right click create real time root we have another root set to a uh, C receive Set it to slider number one. Now it's reacting, and we can again multiply. It 
see how it's glowing and moving using this curve. Now, yeah, you can enjoy the performance. I think that's pretty cool. And uh, with the recording, it's already working. Except for the glow, you have to record that probably separately. But you can you can record it into a locator and then plug it into the value if you like. But this is live, and if you want to save the, the audio, you can hit on write audio. It's going to write it outside. And you can it's already synced in real time. And you have animations, and you can just export it out. So that's basically bespoke in a nutshell, but there's so much. So much with bespoke, there are hundreds of nodes. Um, we are just using the drum. We can use actually synth, etc. That, uh, yeah. Maybe we can have some kind of uh, like a DJ concert, you know, like uh, some kind of audio animatronic in a way. If you have like a character in Blender, you set it up with bespoke. We have music in real time, sending. Uh, the signal into Blender and you can record the whole performance and then you can share it with your friend as AR okay so that's the idea uh, there's a lot of uh, interesting and tricky stuff happening here but I mean with with this material that's changing uh, you can you can actually bake it out as well right remember how I teach you how to do that so baking it as material as a video and then have bespoke music and you have the whole almost everything like you have visual and audio and entertainment and yeah this this is the basics um all right so hopefully this is useful let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thank you bye